Welcome to Volume 1, Issue 1 of Learning You Education, LLC's audio newsletter. Send your topic requests for future issues to info at learning you, that's Y-O-U, education.com, or telephone 404-808-9225. This issue includes information on association insurance provided by our education partner, Dreyer Insurance Association Specialist, and the 2014 Goal Setting and Attainment Webinar with Learning You Education. Section 1. Understanding Association Insurance Policies Provided by Dreyer Insurance Association Specialists. Here are great questions to ask your board members. Has the Board of Directors recently reviewed the Association's documents to be certain that the insurance coverages in place match the requirements set in the bylaws? How about the actual insurance policies? Does the board know what's covered and what's not? When was the last time property or structures were reviewed and the values approved? Have there been no claims for a few years? And is there a possibility to obtain better pricing by shopping around? Is your agent available to the board for questions and answers? And is the board properly insured from a director's and officer's liability standpoint? The questions can go on and on, and taking the time and making it a priority to understand the association's insurance and what's covered, what's not covered, and what still needs to be covered is the perfect focus for the beginning of the year. The bylaws typically spell out what types of insurance coverages are mandated. If you or your board has any difficulty reading through that portion of your association's documents, your agent should be happy to also read through that section for you and answer any questions you may have. Once you're comfortable with the requirements in your documents, now it's time to pull out your policies to see what you currently have. Basic policies should include directors and officers liability, general liability, property coverage, and fidelity or crime coverage. Additionally, your association may need an umbrella policy and workers' compensation which covers volunteers. Now let's dive a little further into some specifics concerning each type of coverage. For directors and officers liability, is the policy a standalone broad coverage form or is the coverage an added part to a package policy? Ask your agent if you have any questions about which type is best for your association and why. There is a difference. The big difference here is that the added coverage typically comes with a load of exclusions that the standalone policy may not have. These exclusions could include defense coverage being denied for lawsuits resulting from discrimination, fair housing situations, or breach of contract. For fidelity and crime coverage, do you have this coverage? If the association is collecting fees or assessments and paying vendors or writing checks, you need to have fidelity coverage. This coverage protects your money against forgery, alteration, theft, or falsified invoices. The limit of the insurance should cover your capital reserves as well as the average operating account balance, typically 25% of your annual assessments. Make sure that your policy is also covering your management company or CPA if you're using one. For general liability coverage, what are the limits on your policy? Is there a deductible? Are all of your risks covered, including the pool, tennis areas, and any pond, lake, or water exposures? This goes further to include those less discussed risks such as entry gates, athletic teams like ALTA, USTA, or swim teams, and does your community have private streets? Check with your agent if any of these items are not currently covered or if you have additional risk exposures, just to make sure the association is properly insured. 
for property coverage. What structures are the association's responsibility? Make sure that all these areas are covered, from as simple as the front entrance to potentially ensuring the actual homeowner's dwellings. You have to know exactly what should be included in the insurance. Make sure your agent knows in case changes to your policy are required. Has the statement of values been reviewed by the board? This is a listing of everything on that policy and its corresponding replacement cost value. Are these values enough? Or do the values need to be adjusted to actually replace the items? Have you informed your agent of any improvements or updates that have been done to the property, including roof, plumbing, or electrical work? And what is your current property deductible? Does your association have access to that amount of money in the reserve or another account if needed? For umbrella coverage, do you really need this? First check to see if an umbrella policy is mandated in your bylaws. Then check and balance the association's risk. Your agent can help you with this. For example, an association with 200 homes, a pool, lake, and tennis courts certainly should consider obtaining an umbrella policy. Also, umbrella policies are available that raise the limit to both the general liability and the director's and officer's liability limits. Talk with your agent for more details. For workers' compensation, if you have volunteers working on behalf of the association, workers' compensation coverage is highly recommended. Whether it's someone planting flowers, fixing a fence, or decorating the clubhouse for the holidays, everyone volunteering should be confident that if they were to get hurt, their medical costs would be taken care of. Does the association have any employees? If yes, workers' compensation coverage would be needed for those employees. Lastly, please do not hire vendors that are not insured properly for the work they're doing and for the risks that they are exposing the association to. Don't wait to discover this when it's too late. Have a board policy on vendor requirements in place so that there are no surprises. This has been a very brief discussion of association insurance. Please know that your agent should be able to answer your specific questions concerning your association and its coverages. If you have any questions concerning this section of the audio newsletter, please contact Judy Dreyer with Dreyer Insurance Association Specialist at 678-205-0224 or at judy at dreyerinsurance.org. <laughs> Section 2, provided by Learning You Education. Hello, this is Tamala, President of Learning You Education, LLC. The 2014 Goal Setting and Attainment Webinar two-part series begins on January 27th. We want 2014 to be our most successful year to date. As a professional life and career coach, I've personally seen how properly structured and measured goals make a huge difference in the ability for success. Consistent follow-up and support elevate that potential for success to the infinite. If you're ready to discover your authentic and accurate goals that will make 2014 what you want it to be, register today. Our follow-up session on February 24th gives you the opportunity to elevate your success and make adaptations with professional support. Individual goal attainment coaching sessions are also available. Register at www dot learning you education dot com forward slash classes for more information you can telephone four zero four eight zero eight nine two two five support our other education sponsors including Innovative Financial Solutions for the Community Management Industry, Alliance Association Bank, a division of Western Alliance Bank, member FDIC, formerly known as Alliance Association Financial Services. They offer full banking services, e-deposits, no-fee lockbox, lending services, online banking, and dedicated customer service. Contact Pat Hillen at 770-845-0795 or 
P. Hillen at AllianceAssociationBank.com. We hope you've enjoyed this issue. Please visit www.learningyou.com for more information on our education partners, our certified vendor program, classes, coaching, and consulting sessions available for community association board members, community managers, vendors, staff, real estate professionals, and everyone wanting to elevate their life or career to the next level of fulfillment and success. Call today at 404-808-9225 or email info at learningyoueducation.com. Be